everyone today I'm going to be showing you how I make my flower bouquets for the aisle um, this is what they look like and I'll insert a photo now um, of my reference so I did change these up a little bit from what I previously had and I'll insert a photo of that now of what I thought I wanted them to look like but I actually changed it up a bit um, so this is the final product and today I'm just going to show you basically how I made these. Um, if you haven't watched my how to make my centerpieces video yet, um, I suggest you watch that first. I'll have that link below um, and you can see how I kind of do things. But let's just jump into it. So the items that you will need are pins, a knife, wire cutters, ribbon, scissors, electrical tape and of course your flowers so these are the flowers that I have to work with um, I just found they are working best with what I wanted to achieve um, and they also match my centerpieces so I have one big rose I have two of the smaller white roses I have three of the big daisies two of these lime green bunches of flowers. I have three of these almost like vine-like flower daisies. And then I also have four of these um, smaller daisies. So that is what I'm going to need for this bouquet. And I'll just start off um, how I make it. So basically what you have to do is most of these, um, such as this one, they were in bouquets when I bought them. Um, I believe they were in bouquets of nine stems. Um, so they were all attached. So what I had to do was I had to take my knife and split them down the middle to get them to separate pieces. Um, don't cut off your ends just yet. They will be all probably different lengths, as you can see. Um, but that's fine. We'll deal with the ends a little bit later um, for the finished product. So you have to do that first. Also, normally they have the leaves at different heights. I'm going to get you to push those all the way up and that'll help with your coverage of how full your bouquet is going to be. And then that way also they're not going to get in the way of you taping your stems together. So basically with this one, I start off with my rose and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bend the rose forward a little bit so that your stem ends up with a curve and that'll help make it so that you see the front of the flower on the bouquet like that instead of facing straight up. So I start off with my rose and then I take my daisies, my bigger daisies and I am going to just put one up at the top. And if you make these a little bit longer than what you need, um, then that way you can always shorten them if you need to. You can always take the flower off, snip the um, wire, and then put the flower back on. So that's not a big deal, but if you make it shorter, then you're gonna have a really hard time. So I put one of the daisies up at the top and I'm going to take my electrical tape and tape those together. You don't need much tape, just enough to hold it for now. And take your scissors and snip it. So there you have the first one. And then you're going to go ahead and take the second one. And you want it to come off the side. And then you can tape that one in place. Sometimes it, they end up being a little bit slippery and it takes a while to get them to where you want them. But, so there we go. And these ones actually didn't take me long. I found it took me probably about 20 minutes to do each bouquet. Um, just, and that's being tedious and, you know, making sure that everything's perfect. Just because I like things to be perfect. <laughs> Okay, so, and you can always keep playing with them as you go. Take your third daisy 
and put it on the other side and you can bend them so that they form better. You don't want to make your electrical tape come down too, too far because you are going to cut off the stems and then wrap the ribbon around it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And my next step is to add these, these little daisies. And they are going to go in the front right here. So again, you can make it your own and just put it where you think is best. And I like that there. So again, your electrical tape or whatever tape you're using. And your next one can go on the other side. And I pretty much make mine symmetrical. Um, you don't have to. Obviously flowers are never going to be identical in real life. So if you are using real flowers to make your bouquets, um, they're not going to be perfect. But these ones, because they are factory made, you can get a symmetrical look. Okay, so like that. Next step is to take these flowers and go up at the top. And as you can see, this one only has two. It's missing one. Um, I have it upstairs, so I'll add that on later. That's the nice thing about fake flowers is you can always add the petals or flowers back on. Um, whereas real flowers, if you break off a flower, you can't really do much about it. Okay, so my camera stopped recording and I don't know why, but my camera was really zoomed in. Sorry about that. But um, I kept going not knowing that it stopped. So I've added all these flowers. So the last step I showed you was adding these. Um, then I went and added the longer ones. So I added one straight up in the middle and then two out to the sides. And then also I added the smaller daisies in the center. So now what I'm going to do with these is actually bend these to make a curve. So what I'm going to do is go like this on both sides and I'm trying to do this with showing you and I'm going to take these and actually twist them around each other so that they stay in place. Like so. And then I bend this one down. And that actually, like that. Um, but I think that one looks a little bit bigger. Yeah, so as you can see, that one looks a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to fix that. Take them and twist them a little bit closer together. Like so. So this is the step that I didn't do with when I first started making these um, and today I actually decided I wanted to add these little white roses and twist the flower down. So that is what it looks like now and now you can see that it looks so much better. Um, and these, because I added them later, I'll show you how I did that. Um, but basically I'm sticking them in like that and seeing how I like them, um, like that, basically like that. And then at the back, I'm just going to wrap them around the wires here. So I'll do that quickly can't do that without like with showing you because I need to see it hmm. if you can get to it sometimes that's a little bit difficult so if you can decide what you really want before you actually put them together do a trial bouquet um, which I did and I did like the other ones, but um, I just thought about it a little bit more and decided that I wanted them a little bit different. So as you can see, I'm losing flowers, but I'm okay with that because I'm not even going to put them back on because you don't notice that they're gone. 
um, but I'm going to actually use them on my cake. Okay, so now I can kind of play with it a little bit more and just set it how I want it. And you can pull these out to the side or whatever you'd like to do. So I think that's pretty good. So that is our bouquet. So now I'm going to actually do the ribbon. Um, what you do is you take your ribbon. This is where your pins come into place. And you can actually like hot glue this if you don't want to use pins. Um, but I just had pins on me and you know what? I didn't have hot glue. So um, you might need a thumbtack, but basically what you're doing is taking your ribbon and using the pin to hold it in place. And you might need a thimble to push that in because it might be a little bit hard to get through everything. So then you just basically take your ribbon and you're going to wrap it around. Okay, so just wrap it around. And this is the, not hard part, but it can be pretty difficult to get your ribbon smooth. So you are gonna probably end up using more ribbon than what you needed to, but to get it the smooth face, you're gonna have to probably do that, so. Okay, so. And I just lost my ribbon. Okay, so that is probably good. Now you're gonna take it and make sure that you cut enough so that it ends up behind your bouquet, like so. And you're gonna take your pin again and pin it in like so. I don't know if you can see that, but like that. And I'll just take another one just for safety precautions. And push it up. There we go. And now what you have to do is snip your stems. So as you can see with this one, um, I leave a little bit at the bottom and spread them out basically. So I'll do that quickly. And this is where your wire cutters come into play. So you just spread them out to what you would like so it looks natural. So there you have it. That is our aisle bouquets. If you have any tips for me, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like my aisle bouquets. Um, and if you learned something new, let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.